Hello and welcome to Guildford TV. I'm Rosanna and it's the first Tuesday of the month so we're here at the Farmers Market in the High Street. This is the first of two Farmers Markets this month. The second one is taking place on the 15th of December, just in time for the Christmas table a week later. So let's go and meet some more of the stallholders. So I'm here with the lovely Boo from Lowe's yeah. Bakery. Hello. Hello. So this is all these amazing cakes. And they all made yes, Lowe's Bakery. They're all making Lowe's Bakery, which is in a Lowe's estate, and we have lots of range, delicious cake, and we have Christmas range, Stolens award winning, and really nice Christmas cakes, Christmas tree shape. And how long do the Stolens last? Oh, they have um, February. Um, yeah, so I don't think it will last too long. Not but with me around, <laughs> no. But, oh, um, lovely. Yeah, and also we have a new product coming, which is sugar-free after Christmas. So that will be nice. cakes. Yes, oh. it's gonna be. So. Well, listen, can I come back and taste them then? Yes, of Thank course, you very anytime. Much. Yeah, lovely to you. meet you, babe. Well, nice to meet you too. <laughs> I'm now here with Sandra from Hi, Stoneworks. Hi Sandra. Hi. Now the, you, you guys do stone garden ornaments, right. is that yeah, right? That's correct, yeah. And do they go down well here? Yeah, yeah, they're very popular. Oh, yeah, they? very they're special lovely. Christmas presents. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And it, will you be here on the 15th yes, as well? Yes, we will be here on the 15th. Very yeah. exciting. Well listen, yeah. good luck with everything thank and you. hope it, the rain keeps off yes, today. It does look like it, yes. Yeah. See yes, you on the 15th. You. Thank We've been talking about Christmas presents that have a double gift experience and we have another recommendation for you. If you have a musician on your gift list, they'll love this one. It's a night at G Live at the Guitar Legends. The night is a celebration of the music in a rockumentary themed night of music and video. Presented and played by Phil Walker and his band, they'll be covering music by many of the legends of the music industry throughout the years. The show includes music by guitar players including Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Hank Marvin, Brian, Brian May and Slash to name a few. The show also includes video and the reasons why they became legends. It'll be a great night of music music played using over 20 different guitars and the varying techniques that it took players to the legend status. It's a night for all of those who have musical soul inside. Tickets can be purchased at glive.co.uk and can be found using the What's On tab. I'm walking up the high street and I've stumbled across this lovely stall beware with Colin. Hello. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Now, am I right in saying Beware is local honey products made from the Lowesley Estate? It's local like? honey that is produced by my bees from the Lowesley wow. Estate, which is between Guilford and Donnelly. The way, reason I do that is because it makes it that little bit different so that I can attract a different type of customer, uh, which I do quite successfully. Here. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking at the flavours. They're all really different and yeah. my dad would like this, actually. You often don't think you find things like lemon and kiwi marmalade. You don't find that anywhere else, and Satsuma marmalade is quite rare. I like the sound of that one, I'm a Satsuma fan. It's a sweet marmalade, it's really oh. rather different. Love it. And are you guys here again on the 15th? I'll be here on the 15th, though I can't guarantee that I'll have Satsuma marmalade <laughs> because <laughs> I've only got a few jars at the moment and I've only got limited time with the other events to actually cook more. So I have to definitely buy it today, though. You to have make to, sure. yes. Listen, lovely to meet you, thank you very, thank much. You very much. And we're going to head on over, I think Stephen's up the high street with a friend of the show. Thanks so much Rosanna and now I'm here with Diana. How are you Diana? I'm fine Emma, how are you? I'm really well thank I haven't you. seen you since I saw you on the stage at Christmas Lights performing, that was that amazing. Was so much fun, it was literally just up the high street and uh, it was a really magical evening. It was a really good evening, so where can we get hold of your music? Well, you can get hold of it at HMV or Amazon um, online if you go to my website. Um, and I've actually got an online gig coming up which is quite exciting. Oh cool, when's that? So it's next Wednesday. Uh, uh, I think it's the 9th of December and um, it's fantastic it's basically an online platform so people can tune in and watch my show from the comfort of their own living room if they want that's what I should be doing very that's what I should be doing <laughs> so it's all about singing this time of year anyway it is we're all in the Christmas spirit now fancy a few carols tell me if we all want to come along and sing some carols is there 
there any event going on? There are loads of carol services going on, particularly at Holy Trinity just up the top here. And what's really good I like is when they do the big carol concerts and we get all the choirs out, it's often for a charity and there's an opportunity to raise some money. So the Fountain Centre have got theirs, that's on Monday the 7th, so next Monday. And they've got the opera singer Catherine Harry's going to be there and they've got some choirs. And that will all be raising money for the Fountain Centre at St Luke's. Great. And then the Mayor of Guildford has her Christmas um, carol concert, that's on the 13th of December, still at Holy Trinity. And they've partnered up with Vivace Chorus and the Rotary Club of Guildford and they're going to be raising money for charity. And another one close to my heart, actually the other end of town, yeah. on the, Monday the 7th, the Epsom Chamber Choir are going to be doing music for Clandon and the money's going to be raising money for uh, the restoration of Clandon Park, which of course we lost oh, in the fire course, this year. Yeah. So that's so a really excited. good one. And all tickets available from the Tourist Information Centre, so if anybody wants to come along there, um, we'll sell them a ticket. Oh, that sounds like such a lovely, lovely So thing festive and lovely, yes, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We hope to see you there. Now I'm here with Poda the box maker. It's an old friend. We've known each other for a few years. How are yeah, you? Certainly. I'm fine. It's good to see you. It's a surprise actually. Yeah. So this is your display. Uh, yes, we're um, exhibiting here until the 24th with the Surrey Guild of Craftsmen. Lovely. You can get your Christmas gifts at reasonable prices here. And well, and come and, and see some. Other and you really should come in. There are some wonderful very things. Very individual here. works of art. Um, you should be on the market as well, actually. <laughs> it's a bit cold out there. It, well, yeah, and I think it may have just started raining, but. Okay, we'll we stay don't say anything course. about that. So, how long are you here for? Uh, until the 24th of December. Until the 24th, I think you did just say that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I should listen to what Monday my... Monday to Saturday. And I see you've got your boxes here. Yep. I am still after that cigar humidor. No one problem. Day, one day, I'm no going to have one by Poda the box maker. Um, and uh, things happening for 2016? For you? Um, yes, I'm doing new work. Larger, larger boxes. I've got right. some Japanese-style Tensu chests in the coming out on the market. Fantastic. And I'm using uh, bog oak at the moment, which is carbon dated at 3,300 BC. Oh, really? Some of which are at Guildford House today. Wonderful. So come along, uh, Guildford House, that's uh, behind the Tourist Information Centre, and come and meet Poda and see some of these beautiful products here. here with Joanna from Coco. Tell me, how's it all going today? I've just tried the hot chocolate and it's absolutely delicious. Oh, I'm really glad you like this because you had the tonka bean truffles last time. Yeah, Did they you like those? all of 40 minutes. <laughs> they were delicious. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed them. This uh, hot chocolate is um, the Himalayan pig salt. And what we're trying to do is bring in the idea that you can have a nourishing drink and it can be something which isn't too sweet and bring in the Himalayan pig salt because Himalayan pig salt is one of our top selling flavours. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Flavour is such an important thing I feel with the chocolate and you really only need a little bit and it just satisfies the craving. Yeah, I think you only need a small amount. Um, with good quality cocoa, you need to leave it on the palate for a fair amount of time and it's like a story, it evolves, the taste evolves on your palate and it's very, very true of um, fine wines as well. So if you have a good piece of um, fine quality cocoa and chocolate uh, and you pop it on your palate, the warmth of your palate draws out the flavour. And we found in fact that uh, we're doing a lot of work with our bars and working with independent wine merchants. And uh, in fact, we've got a really exciting uh, opportunity with Aubrey Vineyard coming up. Great. Um, they've been, uh, in fact, we were at the Ripley Farmers Market and they had a pitch there and they sold our bars with their wines. And it was really successful, which is really exciting. It's a lovely fusion of chocolate and wine. Well, the flavour, um, to have all that excitement of the flavour and the excitement of waiting for the flavour yeah. to evolve 
So we're doing uh, Atachi on the Thursday the 10th. The 10th of December. 10th of December, we're up at Aubrey Vineyard and they, I think, are now advertised it on their website and they're yeah. selling tickets and we're really excited about it. It's the first tasting session we're doing with them. So that sounds like it should an be great fun. Opportunity. Hopefully see some of you there. Thanks so much for stopping and chatting. And um, It's I'm great to see you. Definitely coming back and having some more of this. Would you like to try some of our I'm here with Paul at the Little Beer Corporation and am I right in thinking Paul that this is your first time on the market? Yeah, it's our first time here today and then we're going to be here every time from now on and so forward, which is good. And how's it going? It's going well, people liking all the beers we're selling, got a little six packs which is good Christmas presents. Brilliant, fantastic. What's yeah. your best seller? Our best seller, is, I'm going to say this has got my face in it, it's a little hacker. <laughs> That's great. It's like That's a little amazing. session. It has thank actually you. got your face on this. I love it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to yeah, no stop and chat with us today. And um, I hope you enjoy everything that Guildford has to offer. I will. It's Christmassy. It's good. It's Christmassy. And I love your jumper. Can't by go the way. wrong with it, can you? It's so good. <laughs> Have a lovely week. Thank you for watching Guildford TV. I'm Rosanna and we'll see you next week. But do remember, the market's also here in two weeks' time. See you soon.